Hi folks, this is Kwabana from OpenMV, and today I'm going to be showing off a feature that's been on your OpenMV cam for a while, but hasn't been demonstrated much, which is called frame differencing. So frame differencing allows you to see differences that uh, are in the image over time. Um, pretty much, your OpenMV cam will take a background image, it'll save that to either the disk or in memory, and then we compare that background image, um, so you're saving it right here, and then we can load that background image from the disk and compare it with the current image in the frame buffer. And doing this, we can then see if there is movement in the image. For example, I put my hand in there. Um, you can see this variable over here says true, saying it detected motion. And if I take my hand out, false. Uh, motion is not detected anymore. So you can kind of see a little bit of uh, the noise in the image where things are uh, changing slightly. Um, that's just the noise from the camera sensor. But more or less, you can basically see the difference from something entering the image and causing a motion detector to trigger and the thing exits the motion detector stops triggering. Um, anyway, so we have a more advanced version of frame differencing that uh, more or less allows you to actually update the difference image in the background. For example, if I move the camera right now you'll see that the difference image doesn't update and once it's moved a little bit we're going to trigger forever. <coughs> so if advanced frame differencing what'll happen now is we're going to blend in the background image into the current image regularly and this will allow us to deal with any motion being detected or small movement changes. Anyway this works kind of like the regular frame differencing. Um, put our hand in there and we can see it moving around and when we take our hand out um, the system will update the background image to kind of prevent any noise or slight drift from messing up what we see. Anyway you also have another method cause um, called uh, in-memory frame differencing. So before previously we only had the ability to difference frames from the disk. We were actually using the uh, SD card to store the image, um, the secondary image. But now with the OpenMV Cam 7 we actually have enough memory on chip to create a second frame buffer to store images with. So we have a new method called uh, sensor alloc extra FB that we just added to the latest firmware. And this is going to allow you to create a secondary frame buffer that's as big as the normal frame buffer you create images with. And this is going to let you do things like frame differencing on, on chip without needing an SD card. It's much faster now if you do this because you don't have to constantly reload an image from the SD card constantly. As you can see the frame rate just went up from about 8.5 FPS to uh, 14. Um, anyway, finally we have another method for frame differencing called um, structural similarity. So we were trying to implement a lot of different features to make frame differencing possible because um, a few customers are interested in it. And um, we added something called structural similarity which is typically used to measure image uh, quality. Um, but if structural similarity pretty much, you don't have to uh, produce a difference image. You can kind of look at the uh, two frames against each other. And um, structural similarity will basically compare 8x8 eight eight, um, pixel regions to check to see if uh, things are different. And so we're right now you can put my hand in front of this image right here and you can see that it detects that there's a change in the image because my hand entered it. And the second my hand leaves it goes back to no change. And so structural similarity is kind of telling us um, a mean standard deviation, a min and max, that represents kind of how different things are. So when we put my hand in front of there you can see the min basically fell down to negative 0.7 and when we take my hand out it's back to about negative 0.1. Um, pretty much what this measures is the amount of difference. So the lower the uh, negative minimum goes, that's the, the more different different areas of the image are. And you can also see the mean will change too and the standard deviation a little bit also. Um, the max though more or less stays the same at the max value of uh, about one because that's pretty much if uh, any image patch uh, is the same then the max would be equal to that. Anyway, um, thank you for watching this video about frame differencing. Using this feature you're now going to be able to uh, well, it's already been on the OpenMV cam for a while, but we just have some better scripts now for this, and the ability to do it in memory means you can very easily create a frame differencing application using your OpenMV cam M7, and uh, pretty much see movement and detect things like that. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.